It was wet, it was damp, it was miserable, it was foggy, it was just bad. The one good part, the shade of green of the new rice. I'll never forget that. And then you have Iraq, which is desert. There were times when I've never been more frightened in my life was over there. I mean, that kind of fear I never want to experience again. And I know exactly what you're talking about. I should be dead at least twice, if not three times by now. We're doing a market patrol. I'm in the middle of, of the uh, patrol. I start in the middle of the street, turn around, start backtracking to the other side. I look back, and all I see is a little green ball rolling towards us. Oh, fuck, grenade! Goes off behind me, getting half deaf, half blind. And I just kept looking back and forth and back myself up against the wall. After what I thought, it seemed like forever. I'm looking down, and I just kind of feel something go, shift a little bit, put my hand on my ass, look at my hand, and go, ah, fuck. You got hit? Yeah, I think so. Pulling a uh, medevac Bradley. I'll tell you, I didn't know Bradleys could actually move as fast as they could. <laughs> it was one hell of a ride. Well, my purple heart's enough, huh? Yeah, definitely. Well, that's good. You remember that. <laughs> as far as, not a nightmare, but an extremely neurotic dream where I'm back in, and I don't know why. And I'm in for a year or 13 months. You're just called back up. And that's bad. That's bad enough. Yeah. You know, without the trauma that you experienced. But you wake up and you go, oh. I had a horrible nightmare. I lost control on some guy and about killed him. Next day I go to my staff sergeant. This is down in Texas. It's like, hey, staff sergeant, let's go for a smoke. It's like, all right, hey, what's up, young? It's like, uh, I need help. I need to seek counseling. I need to do something. It's like, okay, call medical, set up an appointment, take care of yourself. So why push it? Because I get so bored and I get so fed up with the bullshit that happens in the rear. And I just, But you're talking about re-upping. I am. I am going to re-enlist. Whether I go to Afghanistan or Iraq or whatnot, whatever, but I'll be doing something. I'll be happy about it. There are guys over there on their 7th, 8th, ninth tour right now. They need a break, and I need to get over there so they can get the break. It's their turn to rest. Well, you know, if there are people are being deployed for that length of time, the government isn't doing something right. Well, I just really can't explain it. I just do it. I want to do it. Um, I mean, if you if then I perfectly understand the need to do something. That's perfectly understandable. I just just hope you you're okay. But meanwhile, you've got all this in your head, and uh, you're learning to deal with it, learn to cope. But. Maybe you shouldn't keep putting yourself back into the same situation where... It could just get worse. It possibly. I think most likely it would get worse. But I still have that drive that need to help the guys that are there now to give them their break and let me go back. It's what you have to do. It's not for anyone else to judge. It's what you have to do. I just hope that you can maintain and stay well and come back. <laughs> <laughs>